Hey, it's Michael from Alaska, man. Wow, God is pouring out, man. You know, I, I've been doing some research about how the economy's doing, you know, how they're predicting all this economy collapse in 2012. And there is um, a post, a secular post. This isn't even a Christian post. This is just a worldly secular post talking about 22 reasons the economy is going to collapse. But what's interesting is, I want to read this to you guys. This is from, um, so this is some study of numbers that's from a Christian website. Um, talking about 66 deals with idol uh, fallacy, trickery, gal deception, deals with secular idol worship. Well, it's interesting because I'm talking about the system collapsing, which will bring the Antichrist, 66 idol worship, the other six man worship in the beast. Okay, now, um, it's interesting is, this article is 22 signs that um, that the economies, the world economy is about to crash. Now, this is, like I said, a secular uh, thing they did. Now, check this out for number 22. I've been telling you guys, I want to read it right here. It says, the, the biblical um, the understanding is linked with a disorganization of things to a great degree. Corruption and disintegra uh, disintegration are magnified as well. How, man. Now check this out. I want to read these to you real quick. I'll try to be quick about it. But these, um, uh, maybe I can post a link maybe if I can do that right. Um, anyway, let me just read these to you real quick here. Where'd they go? Uh, I got it right here. Here we go. Okay. Now here, I want to read this to you real fast too. It says, 22 signs that we're on the verge of a devastating global recession. 2012 is shaping up to be a very tough year for the global economy. All over the world, there are signs that economic activity is significantly slowing down. Many signs are detailed later in time. Most people don't understand what's happening because they don't put all the pieces together. If they just look at one or two pieces of data, it may not seem impressive, but when you examine all the pieces of evidence that we're on the verge of a devastating global recession, all at once it paints a very uh, vain picture, you know. Asia is, okay, Asia is, anyway, let me jump down here now. The 22 signs. On Thursday, it was announced, I don't know which Thursday they're talking about, was announced that U.S. jobless claims had scored to a six-week high. Hostess Brands, the makers of Twinkies Wonder Bread, has filed for bankruptcy. Sears recently announced that somewhere between 100 and 120 Sears and Kmart stores will be closing, and Sears stocks have fallen nearly 60% in the past year. Over the past 12 months, dozens of prominent retailers have closed stores all over America, and one consulting firm is projecting that there will be more than 5,000 more cl store closings in 2012. Richard Bove, an analyst of Rochdale uh, Securities, is projecting that the global financial industry will lose approximately 150,000 jobs over the next 12 to 18 months. Investors are pulling money out of the stock market at a rapid pace right now. In fact, as an article posted on CNBC recently noted investors pulled more money out of mutual funds than they put into mutual funds for nine weeks in a row. Um, are there some people that acquire their pensions for money for tough times ahead? Um, and then number seven, there are signs that Chinese economists is seriously slowing down. The following comes from a recent article in The Guardian. Okay, eight, the Bank of Japan says the economic recovery in the country has paused. Manufacturing activity in the Eurozone has fallen for five months in a row. Germany's economy actually contracted during the fourth quarter of 2011. At this point, many economists believe that Germany is already experiencing a recession. According to a recent article, Bloomer has projected that the French economy is headed into a recession. Um... Let's see, and then talking about the French, okay, number 12, there are a multitude of statistics that indicate the UK economy is definitely slowing down. The credit ratings of Italy, Spain, Portugal, France, and Austria all got downgraded. It is being reported the Spanish economy contracted during the fourth quarter of 2011. Bad loan in Spain recently hit a 17-year high, and unemployment rate is at a 15-year high. Uh, 16, according to a recent article in Telegraph, the Italian government is forecasting there will be a recession for the Italian economy in 2012. Um, Italy's youth unemployment rate is highest level ever. The unemployment rate in Greece for those under age of 24 is now at 39%. Um, Greece has already experienced a flow bone economic depression. About 30 of the country is now living in poverty and extreme mess and shortages are being reported. They have gotten so bad that five families are being ripped apart. According to the Daily Mail, hundreds of Greek children are being abandoned because the economy has gotten so bad so their parents simply cannot afford to take care of them anymore. The, um, the note that one mother left to her child was absolutely heartbreaking. Um, let's see. In Greece, large number of people are simply giving up on life. Sadly, the number of suicides in Greece has increased 
by 40% in just the past year. Father, we pray for healing over Greece right now in Jesus' name. Father, bring hope and peace to Greece, Father. Strengthen, save, deliver, and do a mighty work in Greece, Father, in Jesus' name. I want to say that prayer because that's a sad statement. Uh, 21, in many European countries, the money supply continues to contract rapidly. Um, 22, the major industrial nations of the world must roll over trillions upon trillions of dollars in debt during 2012. And, you know, just all kinds of debt being rolled over. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that. I mean, you can see what's going on. You know, pray for Greece. You know, Father, touch Greece, Lord. Lord, bring the hope of the gospel to Greece, Father, and all throughout the world, Father. You know, the only hope in the, you know, this thing is the Titanic. This thing is going to flip, you know. Um, and I've been posting videos on Facebook about the, the coming um, economic crash. You know, world, the world system is going to crash because it's going to allow the Antichrist to take over that ten horn thing and, and do his thing to, to take over the world system, the New World Order. And, you know, really it's the um, Illuminati is behind it crashing the New World Order, or the system so the New World Order can set up. But anyway, I wanted to share that. Um, you know, I, I tell you, God is telling us we need to be ready because... It says he comes when to eat, drink, and marry, and not when the economy's crashing. I mean, not when all the economy, you know, the world economy's dumped. It says when to eat, drink, and marry, and when it seems like peace and safety, you know, that um, he comes like a thief in the night. Now, you know, I, I just want to vent for a minute. You know, there's a lot of post tribbers that are um, um, trying to say that, you know, the falling away has to do with those who find out there's no rapture. You know, the Bible teaches of a catching away. They don't want to see it. They're blinded by it. They don't want to see that there is a catching away. Now, um, you know, the other, the, the, you know, the, the falling away is people being lukewarm and cold and stuff and just drifting off. And then you have the great deception after the rapture with the alien invasion and stuff. But, you know, to tell someone, to tell a Christian, a, a whole bunch of Christians that love Jesus, that if the Lord decided to leave us in the tribulation, that we would turn our back on him, that we would turn our back and not love Jesus anymore because, you know, we, you know, that because the Lord, you know, left us in the tribulation. Look, if God takes you through the valley. He carries you through the valley. Now, the thing I'm saying is it's scriptural for the catching away, you know, and, you know, God will always sustains his people because the Holy Spirit works on But the thing is, the devil can't handle the Holy Spirit on earth with Holy Spirit filled Christians praying calling fire down from heaven like Elijah. That's why it says when the restrainer leaves, when the restrainer is lifted out of this world, those who are fasting in and ready go, you know, because then the Antichrist can be revealed, but darkness can't overtake the earth when the Holy Spirit's here. We're fasting into the Holy Spirit. But anyway, I love them, you know. I love everybody. I, I just, you know, it's just to, to attack somebody's walk with Jesus and how much they love Jesus, you know, it's that's not cool, you know, because to say we just you know, stop loving Jesus because uh, they think we're supposed to be left behind, you know, we're, we're all stuck here. It's not scriptural, but you know, we love Jesus. You know, those who really love Jesus, they ain't forsaking him for nothing. He's our strength. He's our refuge, our fortress, our God whom we trust. But he said, eat, drink, and marry, one take and one left. Twinkle of an eye. You know, fly in the sky. Revelation 3.10. Uh, Matthew twenty four twenty seven. But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share that. So, I, I just, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys, I mean, there's, man, there's, man, I, there's I'm, so many pre-tribbers I know, man, just hardcore love Jesus. And to say that we would just all of a sudden turn on our king, that that's such a slow, slothful statement, you know. But, you know, I, I just pray that when this catching way happens that people don't, you know, that are trying to talk tough and act tough don't take that mark. Because, you know, that's, you know, if you're talking tough, then maybe you, you got to get that love built up a little bit more and, and stop talking tough and just love one another, you know, and let God be your strength. So, um, sorry about the phone ringing there. But anyway, I'm going to finish up this video anyway. I love you guys. Hope that blessed you. Keep looking up because, you know, the Lord's coming soon. You know, any day of any moment, he can flip this world. And, and then, you know, this economy collapse is Revelation 6, 5 talking about you know the economic collapse so that's revelation 6 5 so it's all right there you guys i was posting on facebook i says if the economies are about to collapse i says when do you think the lord's going to take his children home i mean it's like it's not only when everyone's crying out to god 
You know, he said he'd come like a thief in the night and want to eat, drink in the rain. So, I love you all. Hope you're having a blessed day. Um, might have to probably catch up with you tomorrow. I don't know if I'll do another video today, but just stay ready because keep an ear for that trumpet. Like I was saying before in our video, there will be a day we're living on that trumpet's going to sound. It could, you know, whatever day the Father deems. But we might wake up in the morning, be brushing our teeth, and there goes the trumpet. So, stay ready. Love you all.